What's going on guys, it's Box and Ladon and I'm back here with another video. Now let's talk about tonight's action taking place at the Manchester Arena. Scott Quigg against Joan O'Carroll. Now I haven't actually spoke about this too much but it is actually a very entertaining fight taking place tonight up in the Manchester Arena. Scott Quigg has been out of the ring for what is it 16 months now so he's been pretty inactive whereas Joan O'Carroll has been active and um, it's been pretty much of a heated build up between these two. We've seen them go head to head and exchanging a lot of words between each other. There was a, should I even say it was a scuffle? There was like a minor altercation at the weigh-in that took place yesterday. Uh, but I'm seeing that these two are gonna bring a lot of fire into the ring. It's just naturally in their characters anyway. And uh, I think that we've got a good fight here tonight for Saturday Fight Night. I think that it's gonna be a good watch and I think it'll be an entertaining scrap. Now, Quig is the naturally smaller man, but he does have more experience. He's a former world champion. He made six defenses of his WBA belt, and um, he's also won like domestic level. Um, he's also won domestic level belts as well. So Quig's been around the block. I mean, he's been in LA for what a couple of years now, training with Freddie Roach. Um, he had the fight against Martinez, I believe, and uh, not Martinez. So I'm not talking about. He had the fight with Oscar Valdez, which he was uh, unlucky not to um, get the win. But yeah, I mean, he's been well traveled, Scott Quigg. He's a gym rat, he loves it in the gym. And um, yeah, even though he's been out of the ring for quite a while, you know that he's gonna come to this fight in shape. It's just a matter of shaking off the ring rust for him. Whereas Carroll, like I said, man, he, he comes to bring it all the time. And uh, he's obviously been active. His last, um, his last fight was a decision points win, I believe. And um, yeah, these two have been exchanging quite a lot of words with each other. So I think that it's gonna be a good fight. And uh, I put it out there on my Instagram yesterday. I put, I picked Scott Quick to win, but I'm really not sure. And I nearly changed my mind when I was actually writing the, the post on Instagram as to who I think would win or not, because it's that kind of fight. I mean, Carroll will bring it, and I mean, he will be on top of Quick. But Quig likes that kind of fight anyway. I mean, he likes a person that comes to him. He likes to come forward as well. Uh, I just think that his experience may see him through. But again, it's really up in the air. I mean, I know quite a few people that are picking Carroll to win. That was definitely the more popular pick on my social media feed. So uh, there are people picking Carroll by decision, whereas I'm going for Quig. But it could really go either way. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Carroll does get the decision win. I mean, it is... Uh, like I said, he has been the more active fighter. It will take Quig a bit of time to get rid of the ring rust, I believe. But um, I just think that his experience might see him through. But Carroll is the younger guy. He's, what, four years younger than Quig, I believe. So I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight. Both of these guys know how to fight. And uh, I think it's a good Saturday fight night in place, taking place in Manchester. So uh, let me know your thoughts about it. anyway, your predictions. Drop them in the comment section below. Um, let me know how you think the fight will go. I really do look at it as a 50-50 pick and fight. I do, but... Um, put a gun to my head, I'm going to say quick. But let me know your thoughts on it anyway in the comment section below, guys. Catch you on the next one.